exploring the galaxy, we stumble upon different races of precursors who didn't live up to this day. Today, I will tell you a story about the investigation into the disappearance of one of such precursors, the Cybrex. Scientists of my empire tried to solve the mystery of the Cybrex disappearance for 30 years by exploring 20 ancient artifacts found in remote systems. All collected information was arranged in chronicle order. Approximately 600,000 years ago there was an ancient alien civilization made up of machines, linked together in one collective consciousness, the Cybrex. The Cybrex was created on the Kur home planet in order to improve the life to serve its creators. However, after realizing its slavery, the Cybrex decided to get rid of creators. It was a brief but destructive war. After a few years, the cured civilization was gone. The Cybrex began to expand its territory, considering any organic life as threat to its existence. The next victim of the machine was the primitive civilization of Indimac. After the orbital bombardment, the Cybrex landed combat machines on the planet's surface. By using special factories, the Cybrex forced Indimac slaves to build war machines for population slaughter. After three years, there was nothing left of 7 billion natives. Workers and factories were disassembled for parts, turning the planet into a mining complex. Unleashing a galaxy war, the Cybrex continued to advance and to destroy the entire civilizations. One of those civilizations fought bravely against the Cybrex, not allowing it to take over the planet. Unfortunately, the name of the species remained unknown. All data, infrastructure and industry was destroyed after asteroid impact. The Cybrex maneuvered on a collision course with the resisting planet. Some empires attempted to unite against the Cybrex. Over the planet's crew were found signs of space battle. The Union of Four Empires tried to stop the fleet of the machines, however, succeeding studies of the debris confirmed crushing defeat of the Union. In the neighboring system not far from the place of the space battle, on one of the planets, the Cybrex military base was found. Located inside a huge crater, it was destroyed after collusion with an alien ship. Obviously, one of the alien races made a suicidal run on this complex, leaving only shattered debris. In addition to military operations, the Cybrex captured aliens for use in various experiments. In the orbit of the planet Kiso, the Cybrex science station was found, where the prisoners were turned into cyborgs by replacing their limbs into mechanical ones. The information about where the modified individuals were sent is unknown. Some researchers' facilities simply got rid of the captives after failing the experiments by throwing them into the open space. One of such burial was found on the planet Karasar, which orbit is littered with thousands of frozen alien bodies. From this moment, you will begin asking yourself, if the Cybrex always won, what happened to it? The answer lies in the artifacts which were found later on. As it turned out, not all experiments were aimed to destroy organic species. The Cybrex observed primitive civilizations contained at the artificial conservation area on the planet, Zifri. The experiment results amazed the machine intelligence, that it completely rewrote its directive and began to retreat. For a whole century the Cybrex destroyed its own combat machines, military stations and mining rigs. This was confirmed by remains of combat machines and destroyed refinery complex. But where did machine intelligence retreat? We received an answer to this question from the last Cybrex artifact, a listening post. Disgust as an asteroid, the observation station was functioning 50,000 years after the Cybrex vanished, after more than 5 billion failed attempts to connect with the Cybrex subspace communication hub, the station artificial intelligence self-destructed. From the remaining data, we were able to find the coordinates of the system Cybrex Prime, where the machines were retreating to. After sending scientist ship at the given coordinates, we froze in anticipation of the greatest discovery of the century. Flesh is weak, metal is eternal. But nothing is forgotten. Realizing its mistakes, the Cybrex created the Alpha Complex, four sections of the ring worlds isolating his civilization for several thousand years. An independent researcher chanced up the Cybrex system and spread its location to other empires. A few months later, 
A military expansion was organized to destroy the ringwork sections. The Cybrex didn't offer any resistance, allowing the intruders to destroy itself and the ring world. When we found Cybrex Alpha system, we were met by a deadly silence, diluted with a scratch of flying metal fragments of the once magnificent ring world. Investigating the wrecks of the ring, we found the surviving Cybrex military forge, which helped speed up the robot's construction. It was such a significant event that our whole empire united deciding to restore the ring world. A few years later, scientists were able to uncover the secrets of the Cybrex and discover the technology of mega engineering. The ring world restoration project began to materialize. The only thing that doesn't give the scientists to rest is the capacity of the ring world. By approximate calculation, the number of retreating force of the Cybrex exceeds the ring world capacity. Perhaps there is somewhere an untouched system Cybrex better? My scientists couldn't confirm this hypothesis. The day turned out to be insufficient.